An emotion built over on Wednesday at an investigative hearing of the House of Representatives Committee on Women Affairs and Social Development. The committee is investigating a non payment of 1.5 billion naira to contractors under the ministry despite the release of funds. But things went out of control when the Minister of Women Affairs, Uju Kennedy Owaneye, and members of the House Committee, led by Honorable Kafila Togbara, engaged in a shouting match. Now, this next report has more details. The House Committee on Women Affairs and Social Development, chaired by Kafila Togbara, had summoned the Minister of Women Affairs, Uju Kennedy Oaneye, over allegations of corruption in her ministry. The questioning extended to unrelated expenditures, including 45 million naira for a New Year party, 20 million naira for sanitary parts, and 1.5 million for vehicle flows. The committee also sought clarification on funds appropriated for the African First Lady's mission and were about of 1.5 billion naira meant for contractor payments. This interactive session is not to which aunt, like I said the last time, or malign anyone, but to exercise our constitutional power as enshrined in the principle of checks and balance of government expenditure. The committee's mandate is anchored in the House Order 20. Rule 138, as we discharge our duties, let us remain committed to upholding these constitutional and legal imperatives, ensuring that our actions and decisions align with the highest standards of the law. One of the points that caught my attention in that clip was when the contractor was complaining that they have done a job, they've delivered and everything had been signed, but they, they, they did not pay them. I think one woman was even said in that clip that he borrowed five million for the bank and he supplied items to the Minister of Women's Affairs, but he delivered, they signed the documents, and money has not been paid. Things later boiled over as soon as the hearing turned into a shouting match, with committee members and the minister all in accusations and counter accusations. Appropriated for 2023. Yes from the Accountant General's office. Was it released to the, uh, to the account of the, of the Ministry of Women Affairs, yes or no? Honorable Minister and your team, Mr. DFA, I am I'm at a loss because fortunately, I attended the last meeting. And one of the reasons why we took you on oath was to get the truth from you. And today you have deviated. You have deviated because you did say yes. There was release of money, and you take instruction from principal. And there and then, I confronted permanent secretary. He said it was not in the known. And I made, I still making my statement that you are running the business, you are running the ministry with your minister. What of you will be, be I, I, take, I take exception to that. Please, please don't interrupt honorable member. Don't interrupt. I take exception to this. Don't interrupt honorable member. Don't want this kind of Please, let her it. finish. I am not saying to anybody. Don't interrupt him, honorable member. I don't want member. it. I, she should not. Honorable she should minister, calm down. She should be talking about me. Honorable what minister, I said. calm down. Honorable I minister, calm down. I am repeating what I said. You did say it's what they approved to you. I said, Mr. Pam said, what happened? You are not in the known. I said, look, I was once twice commissioner in my state, and the accounting officer is the permanent secretary. Please, you people should work with the permanent secretary. Didn't I say so? Mr. DFA, I am still saying it. You have your time. You will 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 have your time. Yes. Yeah, it's a trap. It's a Thank trap, you. but I'm not going to jump you. into it. Thank you, Chair Party. Don't jump into the trap. Please, Chair Party, Honorable Thank Minister, you. I didn't hear nothing. I've stolen nothing. Honorable, Honorable Minister, of this you will have your time to talk. Don't panic or anything. In response to the committee's inquiries, the minister denied allegations of misappropriation, overspending, and non payments to contractors. On the issue of the contract, even the ones given while I was there, they have not been paid. Yes, they have not been paid. So there is no partiality here except that we are underfunded. With the minister and committee members engaged in round of ash exchanges, the section was already adjourned until further notice. The committee also ordered the stoppage of all 2024 contract processes by the Ministry of Women Affairs until the whereabouts of the funds for the said contracts were determined. Tamilore Akinkoli at TV360, Lagos.